Real Astrophotography asks, what is the purpose of introducing multiple layers in the machine learning context? Say, for example, could you train it with just one layer? The answer, yes, yes, you can. It's really, uh, you can do it with just one. In fact, that's just kind of like the standard machine learning approach is just using one layer, one like 2D matrix, 2D matrix. It kind of looks like this. So we've got a simple neural network, which is your classical machine learning. Now, what we're looking at here on the screen, there are three separate matrices or matrices, right? We've got three matrices happening here, but an input matrix, the, I guess where the knowledge matrix lives, right? Where the knowledge is. And then we got an output matrix. This output is going to say what your targets are going to be, right? This is, it depends on your model. How, how many numbers are you targeting and what the numbers are going to be? How many outputs are you going to have? How many options are available? For example, something like ChatGPT has 10,000 output uh, uh, elements in their layer. Their matrix is the size of 10,000 elements. And that gives you the like the next likely word, essentially, right? So if you're looking to sort of classify uh, a photo between a dog and a cat, you would have potentially one or two of these output uh, elements. And your matrix would be the size of one element or two elements, right? A very tiny matrix. And your inner matrix here can be very, very large or also very small. And you can train this simple neural network. Typically, Scikit is going to be uh, the Python module that you use for this kind of training. And it's uh, you'd want to go towards the SVM, the support vector machine model. When does standard machine learning become deep learning? Well, it's, uh, it sounds, wow, it sounds, deep sounds so impactful, so much more meaningful, right? It's got to be fairly complex and how it's being implemented, right? The algorithm's gotta be, nope, it's actually pretty simple. What we're looking here at the screen is the simple neural network, which has three matrices, right? You've got the input matrix, the middle matrix, and an output matrix. What makes it deep though, is adding more into the middle. You can add more layers, and now it's deep learning. Really, that's it. <laughs> you would think you'd be wondering like, Okay, well, I guess just adding more layers seems, I guess, pretty straightforward. I guess I wouldn't, who would have thought that deep learning is this? And it does turn out you do get higher accuracy. Uh, this is more meaningful when you have larger volumes of data, right? You would want to go towards the deep learning model. If you have smaller sets of data, stick with the simple neural network and uh, this will give you the desired outcome, less compute, you can train it instantly a lot faster. Now, if you got large amounts of data and you need to train a model, deep learning is critical because it can learn more nuances and aspects and details inside of this model here. And each of these internal matrices can be different sizes, right? They can be bigger, they can be smaller. Uh, in, uh, you can put more, they're called units, right? The more coefficients, the weights, the parameters, you can increase those. So you've got more floating point numbers in here. So it can remember more, right? And it can have more connections. So you might be thinking, how many layers can I add? Can I add like a whole bunch? Yeah, you can add as many as you want. It's going to take longer for the training process to occur. Uh, and you might not need too many. Typically, there is a, what do you call it? Um, diminishing returns. There's a diminishing returns where the more layers you add, it just ever so slightly increments the possible output uh, capability, right? It can only get so much smarter. So for example, that's usually after like 10, 11 layers, you're not gonna get a whole lot more accuracy. Uh, though you do get some significant bumps and jumps when you you know go up to that like five, six level, right? If you get six, six layers in there, you're gonna get a pretty good accurate model. Uh, for example, GPT, uh, open, uh, open AI, they use something like 92 layers because they wanted to go as far as they could. They have to remember a lot of stuff, a large volume of text right? A lot of text. So they do want to have high density knowledge, understanding, and its relationships. So they want to have as much density as possible. That's a good reason to go towards deep learning.